folks oh. back can't see now. Oh. So at degrees six, from the normal. Sixty, right? Sixty. Yeah. And we'll put a mark here. Wait, wait. Hey, where do we want it? Um, at we want it straight at sixty. There's a little dot. What about the online lab? How do we see the grades? It will be on Canvas. But that's your own. You're right. So this is the light for 45 degrees? Yeah. Did you put the dots? I'll put them. So yeah, we'll just leave it 30 exactly. We don't have to do 29 there. I think this is 46 and this is looks... Yeah, this looks about accurate. Yeah. Let's see. And then maybe we can twist it to make it exact, right? So we line up those perfectly. And ooh, these ones come out pretty shitty though. But look, if you twist it like that just so, then it's all perfect. All perfect. I'm just with the 60 then? Yeah. 60, 45, and 30. I would say exactly 100% correct. 45? Yeah. Be real. So we lined it up there. That's we got it nice real. and straight. That looks pretty dang good, huh? Okay, now we put the mirror there. Like these two and these two don't converge there. So I don't know what the fuck. These two converge here. Let's just call it this point then. For the curved mirror, we see that the light comes in and reflects at the same angle out because of the normal here. So these are all going to be the same angles. However, we also found that it was about 6.3 centimeters away. The focal point is negative. A human error is going to be causing some issues, but how does it look on that side? Lined up or? Yeah, see? it looks okay. Lined up, yeah. All right, and then I'm just going to try to draw these. <clears throat> But the problem here though, is look, I could twist the protractor a little bit and it still looks like it's the same, like it's going on that line, it's going on that line. So there's a huge berth that we can like literally turn this and it'll still make a, a straight line in our perspective. <laughs> we took a couple of angle measurements and we were able to find N of 1.5 for this prism and N of 1.6 for this prism. We get an average of 1.6. For the converging lens, um, we see that the light comes through here and converges to a point which is 12.5 centimeters away. But make sure to put them where exactly it hits on the lines here and here. For the diverging lens, we see the light comes through here and splits off um, in many directions, but we have a negative focal length over here at 10.5 centimeters. <laughs> 